Here we are. Are you sure you know what you're doing? The Oracle's seen the child, just like I did. He'll be here to find her any minute now. I've got to get to her before he does. Wait for me here. I won't be long. There's no time to lose. I've got to find that girl before the Oracle does. Sir? Sir? You can't go in there! Got to do this quickly. The Oracle will be here any second. You can't go in. I've seen you in my dreams. You have to come with me. We have to leave here right now. She seems out of it like she's not here at all. So, I see you're still alive. I don't know how you've managed it, but that's of no importance now. Give me the child, and I will grant you a rapid death. If you take her to the ones you serve, they'll use her to make slaves out of the entire human race. That's no concern of yours. You'll be dead before that comes to pass. Give me the child. I don't have time to play with you. You mustn't move, understand? I'll be back soon to get you. I hope.
You found the child. Agatha. Humanity's fate for the next 10,000 years depends on the fate of that child. A new golden age, peace and security, or the reign of ice, of terror and death. We were right to have chosen you. You're not really Agatha, are you? No, you're right. Poor Agatha died in her apartment. We've simply borrowed her physical appearance to allow us to communicate with you. This child, why is she so important? At the dawn of time, a prophet announced that one day a child would be born. One whose soul was absolutely pure. She would come and reveal a secret, the answer to all questions. He who possessed this answer would gain unlimited power. What happened at the amusement park? I don't remember anything after the roller coaster collapsed. You didn't survive the fall. We found your body and we resuscitated you. The truth is that you are dead, Lucas. It's... it's impossible. I, I, I'm not dead. Life, death, they're simply abstract notions. You gave your life so that humanity could survive. You are a hero, Lucas. It was vital that you bring us the Indigo Child, and you succeeded. Now we can put her in a safe place. You've accomplished your mission well. No, I don't trust you. Jade stays with me. You're committing a fatal error, Lucas. I'm going to have to eliminate you. Oh, I forgot one small detail. When we brought you back to life, we added a module within your cortex. It's impossible to kill you, as you are already dead. I can, however, annihilate you. A simple touch from me, and you will be erased forever. There's no use trying to resist. I have control of you now.
So, she's the one. This is the Indigo Child? Her name is Jade. She doesn't speak. I get the feeling that for the moment, she's observing us. Where are we? In an abandoned subway station, I guess. So, what do we do now? Looks like we don't have much choice. Let's follow him. Lucas, you're safe and sound. Marcus, how did you end up here? They came looking for me. They explained everything, Lucas. I know now that you weren't crazy. I hope that you can forgive me for doubting you. I couldn't possibly have known that you were really... What are you talking about? Our host will explain everything. Welcome to the Camp of the Invisibles, Lucas. Come and take a seat by the fire. Do you call yourself the Invisibles? Many of us are homeless. Though we're scattered throughout every city, no one ever notices us. This allows us to see without being seen, and pursue our mission without attracting attention. What do you know about the Chroma? It's a natural energy force. Like gravity or magnetism, but it is infinitely more powerful. This force is in you, Lucas. And you've only discovered the smallest part of it. There's another clan besides the Orange Clan, isn't there? The thing that took on Agatha's form wanted the child, too. Yeah, we've only recently become aware of the Purple Clan. We know almost nothing about them. We suspect that some AIs acquired a sort of consciousness using the net during the 80s. They want the Indigo Child in order to become the dominant life form on the planet. First the dinosaurs, then man, now artificial intelligence. Why has the Oracle committed all those murders? The prophecy announced the coming of the Indigo Child, but didn't specify when or where she would be born. That's why the Oracle did the ritual sacrifices, in order to touch the wave and listen to the coming of the child. Seven murders every seven years. So, what do we do now? We must bring the Indigo Child to a source of the Chroma. That's where she'll deliver her message and complete the prophecy. Where do we find this Chroma source? There are only three known to exist on the planet. The closest can be found on an old military base called Wishita. Wishita? That's where I was born. My parents were scientists. They were working for the government. Yeah, and that explains many things. In the 50s, an artifact was discovered that was not of human origin. It turned out to be a chroma source. We must bring the indigo child there as quickly as possible, before she wastes away and dies without having delivered her message. When do we leave? In two hours. The time it'll take to finish preparations on your vehicle and to find you enough gasoline. It seems likely that the orange and purple clans will be waiting for you at Wishita. They will stop at nothing to prevent you from uniting the child with the artifact. We will take care of the child and give her a bit of chroma to help her hang on. There are some mattresses in the wagon back there. I suggest you get some rest before you have to leave. You have a long journey ahead of you. Tomorrow may well be the last day of the human race. I'm 
dead tired, Carla. I'm gonna take Bogart's advice and get some sleep. I don't think I can sleep right now. I'm gonna wander around a bit and join you later. some news from up top. Seems to be in pretty good shape. Just need some batteries and an antenna. Flashlights. I'm gonna steal the batteries out of one for the radio. This will work as an antenna for the radio. state of emergency. The army has been deployed throughout the nation to discourage looting and protect those unable to remain in their homes due to the cold. Several hundred thousand men have been attached to emergency services in order to... All the oceans of the globe are now almost entirely frozen over. The Atlantic Ocean is closing up and there are only a few hundred miles in the middle of the Pacific which haven't been covered over by the ice flow. If the temperature continues to fall, it seems likely... And I'm telling you the truth. This cold wave is a divine punishment for all of humanity's sins. God is sick and tired of our faithless, evil ways. And he's going to cleanse the planet of the unworthy and declare the dawn of a new era, just like he did with Noah's flood. Don't be afraid, my brothers, because God's will is all-powerful, the just need not fear his wrath because the apocalypse the future of the world is going to be decided tomorrow at Rashida
Still not asleep? No, I can't seem to relax. It's hard to believe that it's all going to end tomorrow, isn't it? Fields, forests, cities, everything will disappear under the ice. What's going to happen to us? It'll be like we never existed, like, like nothing important ever happened. Are you afraid to die? Not anymore. If we're both going to die tomorrow, I want you to know something. I... I'm sorry that we didn't meet under better circumstances. Maybe if things had turned out differently. He knew the hangar was going to burn, John. I'm sure of it. But he wasn't the one who started the fire. Look, Mary, that's just not possible, and you know it. Nobody can see things before they happen. That artifact emitted a kind of radiation that we still don't understand. Maybe it changed something in Lucas. That's nonsense. We analyzed everybody who ever came near that thing, and they all checked out fine. Don't you see? If it was the artifact, then we'd all be radiated, and we'd all There's have powers. There's a difference, powers. John. I was pregnant with Lucas when I went for the first time. Lucas was radiated by the artifact when he was still in the womb. This is just ridiculous, Mary. I've heard enough. I'm going to take a walk while you calm down. Lucas? What are you doing there? Lucas? Lucas! There's the hangar. The base seems abandoned. Looks like we got here before the Oracle and the Purple Clan. They're not far away. I sense their presence. Jade's lost consciousness. She's at the end of her rope. We don't have much time. Are you sure that you don't want me to come with you? I don't know what's going to happen, Carla. I don't want to risk your life for no reason. Be careful. I need you. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, go back where we came from. Bogart will protect you.
man will make slaves of all humanity if they have the secret. What difference does that make? We already control the world, Lucas. The child will give us ultimate power. We will be the equal of the gods. I'll never give you the child. Your tiny role is finished. You can now disappear from the game. We thank you for all that you have done for us.
The cold went away just like it had come, in silence as if the indigo child had turned the hourglass by delivering her message. Everything was just as it was before. I guess that means the lesser evil. The Oracle and the Orange Clan went back to their places of power in the secret government of the world, and the Purple Clan went back to haunting us on the net. I should be happy, I guess. I've been living with Carla for three months. She's the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. Yesterday, she told me that she's pregnant, must have been that night in Bogart's underground base. That means that our child was radiated by the chrome at Rashida, just like I was in my mother's womb. I don't know what's going to happen now. I'm the one and only keeper of the greatest secret in the universe. What should I do with all that power? Forget it? Put it in the service of humanity? I've never dreamt about being a god. I just want to live my life like anybody else with my wife and my child. I'm afraid that destiny might have another path in mind for me. What are you thinking about, Lucas? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all.